Meanwhile, we're continuing to follow a protest at Sacramento State this week. Students have taken over the library quad for a third day now. ABC 10's Alicia Machado has been following this for us since the start. Alicia, it started out quiet, got more active yesterday. What are you seeing today? Well, Laura, they're now nearly 60 hours into their protest and student demonstrators say they will continue to remain until their demands are met and new today. Take a look behind me. You can now see barricades up around this encampment. Much more on that in a moment, but demonstrations have remained peaceful for the most part. The university does say police cited three students for vandalism who we're told by organizers are not part of the encampment. On day three of protests at Sacramento State, barricades surround the library quad where students and community members created a protest encampment Monday. They're calling for justice in Palestine. <laughs> Student protesters we spoke with say the barricades were put up after university administration reached out to organizers. Well, we did get word this morning that a counter protest group was coming. Uh, the administration came to us and asked if we would like the barricades put up for our safety. Us as a community came together and we decided that that would be the overall best situation for us. Initially, the administration gave demonstrators a deadline of midnight May 1st for the encampment to stay. But in a statement, they said approval is planned to be extended as long as the encampment stays peaceful and abides by university policy. Some classes and students passing by stopped to observe the protest. I was actually intrigued to go in there, kind of see what their message was about. Kind of glad that uh, they're out here exercising their right to free speech in a peaceful manner. Inside the encampment, a mix of students and non-student community members. They have a list of demands for California State University, including divesting from Israel. There is no excuse. They need to disclose their investments. They need to divest. ABC 10 reached out to CSU administration about protesters' demands. In a statement, they said in part, California State University does not intend to alter existing investment policies related to Israel or the Israel-Hamas conflict. Despite this, students tell me they will continue to protest until their goals are met. One sending this message to the administration. Victory will come for Gaza. And they could either be the ones to implement that victory and bring that victory, or they could just be the fools that our children read about in history books that funded a genocide. We haven't seen any of those counter protest groups just yet today, but for the most part, things have continued to remain peaceful today. Uh, we will continue to monitor the situation, though classes are still in session and the university campus remains open. Laura. Yeah, Alicia, this is a developing story. We're going to keep a close eye on it. Let us know of any updates out there in the field. Alicia Machado, thank you.